Welcome to the introductory tutorial for PhotoModeler's Smart Match and Dense Surface Modeling. This tutorial shows how to create a dense surface model using Smart Match Automation and Multi-View Stereo. Here is the finished project created from these nine photos. PhotoModeler Scanner has four stages to create the final textured model. These 3D views show the project after each of these stages. This 3D view shows the results of the first stage. The Smart Match process matches key features across the photos and uses these to solve the camera positions as well as creating the sparse point set. The solution from the first stage is used by the Multi-View Stereo System, MVS for short, to create this dense point cloud. Zooming in, you can see the points created by this step. Each point in the cloud has its color extracted from the photos. These points are then triangulated during the Modify Mesh step to create this shaded mesh. Finally, the triangulated mesh has textures applied from the original photos. We will now show this project being created from the beginning. Select a new automated project. There are two types of automated projects, Coded Targets and Smart Match. This tutorial covers the Smart Match technique. The first two steps are selected by default. Running just these will detect the Smart Match points and orient the photos. You can then run the MVS and triangulation steps separately or use the solved photos with other photo modeler tools. To run the MVS and triangulation steps as part of the wizard, select them here. Select the nine images used in the project. Hit Next, and a camera calibration prompt appears. Load the calibration from the tutorial.pmr file. If the calibration was already in the library, it would be matched automatically and this pane of the wizard would not appear. Also, in some cases, you can use an approximate camera or smart match auto calibration. Features are detected on each image and then matched across images. Once the matches are complete, the project is then processed. While that processes, we can review some basic requirements of smart match projects. A smart match project requires a set of low angle photos with good overlap. Aim for at least 60% overlap. For example, photo one should overlap photo two and some of photo three. The subject matter and or background should contain random features. For example, a featureless plain white wall will not work. As well, the majority of the scene should not move between photos. Avoid using blurry, or out of focus photos. After the smart match process has solved the camera positions, the MVS steps will run. By default, MVS requires each part of the object to be visible in a minimum of three photos. The following subject matter is not suited to the smart match and MVS process. Non-textured solid colors, moving objects, reflective objects, and thin objects that cause occlusions. After the dense point cloud has been created by MVS, the point cloud will be triangulated and cleaned. Skipping ahead to when the project is complete, this shows the stages in the final meshing step. Changes to various parameters can increase or decrease the amount of data created and the time it takes to run. Save this project as sundone.pmr. Open the two photos to see the 2D smart match marks created and matched between photos. Open a 3D view to see the same results shown at the start of this tutorial video. Turn off point mesh visibility to see the smart match points. Turn on the point clouds to show the MVS result. Turn off the point cloud and turn on the triangulated mesh to show the shaded result. If photo textures are turned on, they will be created and applied to the model. This last step is purely visual. It won't change the shape of the mesh or affect measurements. 
There are a few areas around the edge of the model that are not visible in any of the photos. These areas would not be photo textured unless additional angled photos were included. This project can be exported for use in other 3D packages or a scale added and measurements taken. In summary, the tutorial showed the steps used to create a triangulated point mesh, how to run a smart match project and optionally include the MVS and triangulation steps, what type of photos and subject matter are required, and lastly, how to view a mesh in 3D.